Micro Career Bursts are interactive job shadows that allow students to experience careers that may not otherwise be easily accessible. These online tools help students learn about the jobs in the 16 national career clusters and help students make a connection between school subjects and career opportunities in the real world. Micro Career Bursts are highly interactive and are designed to capture students' imaginations as they explore opportunities for life after high school. Each Micro Career Burst combines subject matter expert interviews with animation, interactive games, and quizzes to provide a 20-minute, highly engaging job shadow experience. Which Micro Career Burst will you explore today? Enjoying the outdoors, strong math skills, and being a, a people person, having good vision, because forestry is not a short-term you know, you're not talking about what's going to happen two or three weeks from now. Um, the results of your work you'll see 10, 15, 20 years from now. I protect forest resources from threats such as wildfire, theft, and vandalism, and insects and diseases. My name is Jonathan Calori, and I'm the Assistant Law Enforcement Chief with the South Carolina Forestry Commission. Basically what I do on a day-to-day -day basis is work with landowners, uh, that have had somebody come on their property and cut the timber illegally. Every tree in the forest has a life cycle. Click on the cards to put them in the correct order. You'll learn more about what a professional forester does every day. Foresters explore new technologies to enhance forest productivity. Foresters get to spend a lot of time outdoors. They know their trees and how they grow. Foresters use technology like GIS, GPS, computers, and smartphones to manage woodland areas. Foresters use best management practices to support sustainability of woodlands. The area that we're standing in actually represents the beginning of the life cycle for young Loblolly pines. Uh, approximately two years ago, we came in and we harvested this site. Uh, we removed the mature pines that were on the site so that we could use the wood from those trees to make chips for paper production, um, boards, um, you know, the bigger trees were sawn into boards that are used to build houses. 